We are just learning that I-90 has reopened to a single lane in each direction between Hardin and the Wyoming state line as flooding continues to be a major concern around much of the eastern part of the state. The stretch of highway had been closed since Saturday due to flooding on the roadways. A release states there is still about one to two inches of water on the roadway right now and drivers are being asked to reduce their speed and use caution while driving through. It's unclear when the highway will fully reopen. And east of Crow Agency in Powder River County, flooding has taken over streets in the rural communities. Roads are completely washed out and crews are furiously trying to keep the water in check before more damage is done to infrastructure. Many roads have been closed and the damage underneath is devastating. And over in Richland County, high waters continue to plague the area. Chunks of ice coat rivers and at times stop and force water out onto the land. Richland County DES says the water can rise quickly and it has saturated fields, putting livestock and structures at risk. It's been an ongoing battle for crews there as the ice clogs up canals and forces residents to stay on their toes. And in Billings, a major ice jam broke free on the Yellowstone River near Colson Park last night, sending huge chunks of ice flowing through the Billings area. And in Cascade County, the Cascade County Sheriff's Office in Great Falls has also issued a flood warning due to several roads being washed out. Highway 87 from Great Falls to Fort Benton is shut down. Drivers were being told they must find an alternate route. And at Dodson, an animal rescue organization has been forced to temporarily suspend their operations due to the rising waters. Flood waters were up to the doors of the rescue dogs organization just days ago. The rescue had to move fast to get animals moved into safety. Now the shelter is working to find equipment to haul fill dirt to its location.